Hey Hiya people, welcome to another vlog on um, what we're cooking. It is a Sunday today, although you're watching this on Monday. And uh, let's see what we've got for uh, Sunday lunch today. Oh, you've been in there already, Sharon. What are you doing, baby? I'm just turning him over me chicken. So what we got today then? Don't say chicken. <laughs> well, you've got this, we haven't. But right. this is like for the uh, journey as well to Scotland. Right, because we're off as they're watching this, show. We're on the train. We're on the train to Scotland. Well, we'll be in Scotland time now watching this. Yeah, so there. this is for the journey then. I'll have a little bit of that today with yeah. my Sunday dinner, won't I? Yep, you will do. And how long have you had this on for, baby? Half hour and 180. And you're going to put it on again for another half hour, is that right? Yeah. So in total, folks, in the little Kasori mini cooker, an hour at 180 degrees, turning it halfway. I will check it. might not need the eggs. That's not very big chicken. And it's now breast side up, isn't it? No, that's the other side. I, I thought I'd put it in breast side, but I didn't. Oh, well, it don't matter, does it? No. And what have we got in the uh, slow cooker today, then, baby? Some lamb. Let's have a little look. Again, you've put that in dry. How long's that been on for, Sha? Well, about an hour to turn that over. And how long's that going to stay on for? About another three hours. About hours. three or four hours, and she does put it on high. Just spin it over. There you go. And that'll be like, what is that, a shoulder of lamb? No, that's leg. That's leg of lamb, yeah. is it? Like the top. Because we actually yeah. bought a lamb, didn't yeah. we? And we bought a whole lamb. It's actually cheaper to buy it like that, isn't it? Yeah, well, it, it was quite a few bob, wasn't it? It's not a cheap thing. Oh, no. But we went half with Jimmy, because Jimmy's got half. Jimmy and it, it was all butchered for us and everything. And uh, so we've got plenty of lamb in the house, yeah. Yeah, which we love, don't we? Oh, yes. Well, we decided to come out for a little walk. This is the day before, obviously, we go to Scotland. And we're going to be sitting on a train for nine hours tomorrow, shall we? I can feel asleep coming on. Oh, no, I won't sleep because I'll be worried about the next winter changes. We've got four changes. So, yeah, we've just come for a little walk. Well, I say a little walk, hopefully about an hour's walk. We're end up at Jubilee Park at the moment, folks. There's not a lot of people here. It's a little bit windy, so uh, let's show you around. Yeah, just coming through these uh, pergolas here. They've got... Um, tennis courts over there there's a bowling green over there as well and I think there's um which doesn't look like a bowling green I think there's one over there as well just over there not this one here the one beyond it but it looks like it needs a good cut at the moment okay. oh is it oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry Shell, what was that it's a croquet line. yeah that was croquet people so uh they got a little bandstand in the middle here now just on our left hand side now coming up is the open air swimming pool Sharon which is at eh? the covers off it and it's also a heated outdoor pool Sharon isn't it it's very nice and it's very warm as well apparently I think you have to book to go in there don't you not, no not no more not no more but it's very busy yeah in the summer you have to book in the summer I think let's just show you over the top people look let's have a look look there you go yeah, mine. There's no here. yeah okay just like the old-fashioned pools of years ago, Sharon. You know? What a Lido was, wasn't it? A Lido, yeah. There you go, folks. Behind them glass windows there is the gym. Where? Oh, there's a gym there as well. Mm -hmm. Sharon said just over there, I think she meant. Or is it there, Sharon, these ones? The first yeah, windows. This one's here. This one's here, the big Yeah, the first thing. windows so there. Well, I can see the gym equipment here. Yeah. Uh, nice area to sit out in the summer, people. And uh, there's also many camping spots here as well. There's two... Yeah. Uh, motor camping spots here, Sharon. Isn't there? One belongs to the Petwood, I think. Yeah, one belongs to the Petwood Hotel, which is a bit further around. And there, straight in front, that's where it is. Yeah, we'll have a look in a minute. And the other one does belong to Jubilee Park, which is run by a trust, I think, Sharon. Isn't it? Is it the community? The community uh, people run this. But nice little area. You've also got this little um, Zen Sen sensory garden. Se yeah, sensory garden there. They've got things like wind chimes up and all that, as you can see in the tree there. Yeah, let's have a little look in here, shall It's a nice little area to sit down in the summer. All natural wood surrounds. You've got this water wall here, look, which uh, is continually running. I don't think that frees up, Sharon. No. But again, nice little areas here. And uh, what's this here? The Inner Wheel Club of Woodall Spa. Oh, that was planted, obviously, in the memory of the... The uh, founder president, Jackie Olive. There you go. Didn't know that. Little things here. All little garden. I would imagine these would have had little uh, plants in them and all that. These little raised beds and all that, which you can uh, come along and have a look at. 
yeah nice little area coming out here oh there's, there's some rosemary there Sharon look rosemary we used to have stacks of this in our garden didn't we years ago absolutely stacks of it oh they've got other stuff here as well Sharon look you've got chives that were planted there and there's probably a few more here look there you go oregano coming along to the end there mint sage there we go there I didn't know that look never stopped and took a look at it it just shows you when you just stop and take a look at stuff everything's not always as it seems stag statue and a baby there that's nice there you go look at that folks look I think you've got a board of um, who created the garden with community funds raising there as you can see look and all these different people here are the ones who are donated to keep this local garden open and blooming so to speak so you also have a toilet block there so if you are camping or in your van at all that's the car park there that's the starting yeah that's the car park so you've got all these parking spaces out here you've got a car park there and coming over here you've got obviously parking you can donate there just stick some money in there if you don't want to park here. Stick a quid in there if you park here, folks. And uh, that's the front entrance there to the swimming pool over there. Yeah, so if you do want to book to put your motorhome on here, for example, with um, hookup as well by the looks of it. There's the details in Woodall Spa. So right next to the uh, swimming pool, you've got the uh, activity centre for your kids or whatever, just over here. So this here is the original booking office show isn't it yeah. and it's only because it's the weekend i suppose no, or it's sunday closed for the winter oh it's yeah. closed for the winter there you go folks so it does tell you there that you can make your bookings at pool reception which as you know is just over there so in the summer you'll come here or when the season starts so to speak and then we have a new arrival new arrival someone just booking in there and coming over here now as i say there's your activity center there for the kids Oh, I ain't seen that for a long time, Shadow. Look, hopscotch. Go on, I want to see you have a go. Go on in. Get right to the end. Go on. Now, do, do it. Do it properly. That's not just cheating. That's all right. As I got older, that's what I used to do. That's Come here. Do. It's quite slippery. Ready? Well, chuck your stone. Well, that's no better than what I've done. Yeah, you shouldn't go on number one. You're out. Why? You jumped on the number one. You had to jump over it. Whatever number no. you start off of, yes. It's when when you, you get when you get a stone. And pick your stone up, yeah, and then jump over it. You pick a stone. You start on number there one. You, go. you start on number one. Yeah. Then you do that and come back down, and then you hit the pro get the stone on number two, and then you avoid number two. You, on the way back, you pick up the stone off number one, jump over number one, and then you get back and chuck it to number two. Yeah, that's what, number what did two. I just say? But you didn't bend down and pick your stone up. Or well, I didn't have a stone shower. And you jumped on, hopped on number one. Unbelievable. Oh well, there you go. So this field, I think, is called Pine Woods. And I didn't realise, Sharon, yeah. it's actually got its own toilet block as well in there. Shower block over there, look, in the back there. So that's, of course, windy shower. So this is Pine Woods. Quite a big field. But... Uh, this is packed in the summer, this Yeah, place. summer, it's really packed sort of thing. Northerners on tour stay there. Yeah, Northerners on tour stay there when they come to visit us. You've got this big green here, but that's nothing to do with car parking, is it? Right. Or camping at all. That's normally used when they have uh, events here, well, don't they? Well, they had the dog show there. And yeah, and everyone comes out here and puts their stalls up or whatever. And our custom, custom car shows here as well, yeah. shall we? Right, we're going to make our way down to the village now. I've got to get some lardons to go with my chicken for tomorrow so that we don't have any food on the trains or whatever, buy any food. I'm buying coffees. So oh, yeah, we'll have coffee, shall we? Yeah, I understand that, but uh, we're not buying any food because the sort of food that you get in these places or any sort of places like that, you have to uh, eat carbs, and we're not eating carbs. Anyway, we'll see you in a minute, folks, when we get down to shops. All right, we're just outside the uh, Jubilee Park now, shall we? Looking yeah, over there. You did say about Jubilee Park, what? which is new. They have shows in there, which is definitely what? Shows. We went and see the Beatles there. Oh yeah. And this year they got an Abba tribute. What, what the real Beatles, yeah? No, and I'm going to book that one. Yeah. But they do have lots of other things there as well. Now. Is that mini golf still here? They used to have miniature golf here as well, didn't they? Oh no, it used to be here, didn't it? it used to be yeah. long here, didn't it? I think they might have changed yeah. that. But uh, yeah, looking over here, this is the Petwood Hotel over here, people, or the land to the Petwood Hotel. I'm just going to cross over here. Look at it. Look at this tree that's come down. Look. Well, this big branch. There. Look. 
Oh, it is a tree. I thought it was a branch. It's actually a tree that snapped off there. Look, all the way down there. Look, amazing. You know why the trees are coming down? Why? Because they're making it nice for the wedding. What it's wedding? Up, wedding that's upcoming that will be there in September. Jimmy and Charlotte's wedding. Whoa. That's where it is in the Petwood, folks. Yeah, nice areas to walk around, Woodall. What's through that pathway, Sharon? I don't see that in the back. Where? Kingdom Island, that. Is it? Are we going down there? I don't know how muddy it'll be. That's... Well, it shouldn't be too muddy, should it? Again, all off road. In you go, baby. This is on our doorstep, so we might as well make the most of it. It's amazing where all the leaves go, Shell. Yeah, it's my drive. Yeah, I know. Look, the pathway sort of remained clear. There's another tree that's come down here, folks. Look, look at that, look. I don't know what they do, whether there's a forestry commission who come down and um, actually do something with that, because I suppose they'll have to make sure that it's safe. Like here, it looks like it's leaning on that tree there, so it could fall over. But looking at it, Shell, look how, how it's split. You imagine how much pressure it takes to split that wood open, look. And how long has that been there? Because you've got all ivy that's been growing up it, look. I wonder when that came down. And let's have a look at the root cluster on it, folks. Just see how big the roots are on it. Well. Probably chopped, didn't they? They broken off. Gosh. Well, they probably snapped off, yeah. It looks like it's that was a hole. It's not a very big um, span of roots, though, is it really? But uh, it's been down for a while because look how dry that is. Yeah, it's, it's not uh, a fresh one. It's been down a while. Oh well. Again, nice little area, shall? Oh, and you get the old uh, monk jacks in here, don't you? Oh, yeah. Foxes, uh, badgers, I would imagine. Yeah, I don't actually know who owns this woodland, to be honest with you. So. Uh, I don't know whether you could go camping or whether there's any um, covenant. Is it covenant that you have when you're not allowed to do stuff on land or whatever? I'm not sure. But uh, in here, Shao, Shao, on the 1940s weekend, they um, the army's come in, or well, I say the, the what they call when they the re re reenactment people. No, the reenactment people come in here, and for the whole weekend of the um, 1940s weekend, they pitched this up like it was a proper camp army camp or whatever and they dig all the old parachutes hanging from the trees yeah just like it would have been back in the early 1940s or whatever yeah they dig the trenches out and they got all the arm uh, vehicles in there and all that of the era but no more nope yeah because they ain't doing the 1940s Which weekend after about how many years about 15 years i don't think it's like 10 it got up to they get up to 10 years yeah, it's a shame. yeah so it used to be good bringing a lot of trade into the village or whatever but um who knows what they're going to come up with next Anyway, time to move on. Right, we're now heading towards the um, Kinemai in the woods, and also the old what used to be the old Victorian pump house. But we come to this, folks. Now that is here. that. Oh, they've been here. Look, that is a blinking pothole and half, right. Sharon. Look at the size of that. Now the thing is, the last time we saw that, it was raining, heavily raining, and it was a big puddle, wasn't it? Yeah. So if you would have drove through there, thinking it's just a puddle. You would have done your front suspension in, but it looks like it looks like the um, council have been out and um, actually marked it, which means that they will be doing that, obviously. Yeah, it's different layers, isn't it? Yeah. There's a top layer, then there's another layer of road there with shingle underneath it. So yeah, it's been filled in before, but obviously this is this happened when out that that downpour the other week, wouldn't yeah. it? Amazing. Anyway. Just not here, just a bit further down. We've just come up to the Kinema in the woods. What's on, Shell? Anything that we want to see? Oh, God, we're not going to be here, are we? No, but is there anything on that we would like to see? Not that I can see. No. Anyway, it has got a uh, parking facilities. Now, this is a pretty new car park, this, over here, but there's no overnight parking there, obviously. And here we are. There's the uh, Kinema in the woods, which is... Uh, a rear projection cinema, Sharon. Mm, lovely in there. Yeah, we love it in there. It's like got a nice, nice little reception in area in it. And uh, this whole building here, which you can probably see, which is only recently, within the last couple of years, been uh, refurbished. This is the old pump, the Victorian pump room, which, if you remember our video in the uh, Lincolnshire Life Museum, there's a, we showed a pump there, which was installed in Woodall Spa, that used to pump the water up from the uh, the, the springs or whatever. And this is the building that you should be housed in. 
and totally changed usage now. It's a mind and body studio, a gym, there's a hairdressing studio in there, Sharon, isn't there? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, but uh, it was derelict at one stage, right? well, for the last 24 years since we've been up here. But uh, now, obviously, someone's took the initiative and restored it. And that's the old Victorian pump room at Woodall Spa. Just coming round the corner there, I don't know whether you can see or not, people, but um, I don't think I can get the camera up high enough to see this was the unrestored part, which is still obviously over undergoing restoration. Let's come along here. I'll see if I can show you what the old building used to look like. This might have been the main entrance, Sharon, or something. There we go. That's what it did look like originally. Um, I would imagine, as I say, that. Uh, I think they're going to do eh? holiday lets in there. I think. Are I'm they? Not sure, or apartments. I don't know, Sharon. I don't know if I'd like to live uh, have a, a place spooky. in there. I think it would be a bit haunted because I mean there were people who done the um, ghost hunts in there, weren't they, yeah. on the internet? And I think the things used to fly about or whatever. So and also behind that, this here, is a bit of the kinema, which is the open air. They've got an open air screen in which they use in the summer. Yeah. You can sit in deck chairs and watch a film. Yeah. And coming just along here, a little bit further. Again, all this is shout. All this stuff's in the woods, isn't it? You've got the Kinema in the woods, you've got that beauty station now in the woods. And here we have a very popular place to eat. Which is? Tea House in the Woods. It's called the Tea House in the Woods. Let's have a look, let's show you this folks. Lovely food, as you can see by all the cars. That yeah, there. I mean it's Sunday now, the day we're filming this, but there's loads of people in there, there's people sitting outside as well. But again, nice little place, they do a good afternoon tea there Sharon, don't they? Yeah. If Lovely you like that sort there. of thing. A cup of tea with the free tea cake rack, isn't it? Mm with cakes, sandwiches all cut with a crust off and all that. cooked fresh there as well. Yep. And there you go, that's the uh, tea house in the woods, people. Right, just coming back out of the uh, little place where we've been to, Sharon, we've got this little place here, which is the uh, museum. Cottage, cottage Museum, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, if you're ever in Woodall Spa, do have a little visit to this place, people. Give you a lot of, I've, I've actually never been in there, Sharon. Yeah. No, never I've been, been in there. there quite a few times now. And do you have to pay when you go in there? Yeah. Yeah. How it's much is it? It's not a lot, I can't remember now, but it's not a lot. But it goes to the upkeep, so... Yeah. I know it was burnt down once, wasn't it? Down at the back there, there's a little uh, yeah. shed which had an old carriage in there. Mm. And it burnt down. I think they got lottery funded for... Yeah, national lottery, wasn't it? Yeah. But no, it's lovely in there. It's all set out like... Look, we'll go in there one day before we come back. Oh, I don't know if it's open. Oh, Why not know. open till March? don't know. Right, there's it? a signboard here, Sharon. Oh no, it just tells you what it is. Anyway, that's the Cottage Museum. Something else to look for? That's worth a little visit though. That's a good little museum. Yeah. Oh well, back home, shall. Back home, back to the kitchen. Back to the kitchen. There's your gravy with your mint sauce in. You do like that, don't you? Yeah. That's the veg coming out, which I haven't got none of. So we've got chicken here, which I'm going to be using quite a lot for the journey tomorrow. Also with a bit of um, lamb as well. No, there won't be no lamb left no, over, no, shall. No, no. Can I just try a bit? Oh, perfect good job, Chef. What was mine going to be? In the bowl? Should have left mine in the bowl, Chef. Might put your plate out there. I know, that's just what I was cutting. Oh, right, okay. Just got to try a bit of chicken as well, people. <laughs> so we've got the lard ones now, so um, I'll be cooking that up later on. I won't bother showing you that. It's been going on for about 20 minutes now, I think, this vlog, so um, we'll finish on this little note. So there you go, last few um, Yorkshire puddings there. So I'll have that for tomorrow with some lard on, so I'll put that in a Tupperware container. I might put some um, of the avocado yeah. mayonnaise I've got to mix with that and lard on. So that's for me all tomorrow. Just missed up baby Franks. Sharon's got uh, the lamb with Jimmy and Charlotte with all the, the veg there. And there you go, that's my dinner there folks. Fantastic, I'm happy with that. So there you go folks, that's another day in the life of us, what we've been up to today. We're gonna to enjoy our dinner now, and we'll see you Scotland. in Scotland. Keep tuned this week folks for our Scottish vlogs. Thanks very much, see you in the next video, and until then, bye. bye for now.